So normally on this channel, I review home appliances, but it's summer and we've just had an outside cooking upgrade. So I thought I'd show you what this thing is all about. It's not a barbecue, it's a griddle, otherwise known as a flat top. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about how to use them and why they are the easiest and I think the most sociable way to cook outdoors. So Blackstone, the company who make this griddle, was launched in 2008 in the US with this original model. It's the 36 inch griddle. The idea behind it was to be able to do more cooking outside than you can do on a conventional barbecue and to have more space so it's a bigger social event. Although they've been around for a while, they really went mainstream during the pandemic and they only really started to gain traction in the UK over the last couple of years. They are big on TikTok where you might have seen them and they're also pretty big on YouTube where they post a video every day on their channel. So what is a griddle? Well, it's basically a big slab of steel with burners underneath which run off a gas bottle which can either be butane or propane. The first thing you do with a blackstone is season it like a cast iron pan and then you can cook directly on it. The seasoning process makes the surface non-stick, so most of the time you only need minimal oil when you're cooking. From then on, it's basically like a huge frying pan and you can do all the obvious things like burgers, bacon and sausages, but also fried eggs, flatbreads and pancakes and a whole load more creative dishes. The cooking surface of this blackstone is 35 and 3 quarter by 21 and a half inches and provides an impressive sounding 768 square inches of cooking space. It does feel huge when you're standing at it and there's lots of potential for what you can do with it. If you enjoy hands-on cooking then this is great for that. Lots of fiddling with the food, flipping things and moving stuff from hotter or cooler parts of the cooking surface. And this is exactly how my 12 year old son likes to cook. You normally find him with a frying pan getting involved with the food and so he's really enjoyed experimenting with it and as we are a family who loves to cook one of the additional advantages of this big cooking space is that two of us can stand happily at the flat top cooking different things without elbowing each other. Now design wise the manufacturers have spent a lot of time refining this original model as you would expect and it's got lots of nice features. Firstly, to manoeuvre it into place, there's a big handle on one side of the unit with two locks on the wheels to keep it put once it's located where you want it to be. It's got a hard cover which can either be removed completely or tipped vertically and stored behind the grill. This cover is though just to protect the flat top when it's not in use and you can't use it as a cover when you're cooking, although there are different versions of this griddle with a hood instead of a hard cover and they are designed for that purpose. On both sides of the cooking surface there are shelves which give you lots of space for plates and supplies. Each shelf has four hanging points for tools or tea towels and the shelves can be folded down so it's easier to store the blackstone. On the left hand shelf there's a magnetic tool holding strip and on the right there's a kitchen roll holder which folds out. And directly under the flat top there's a big shelf for storage too. Now this being something that looks like it could possibly belong in Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House, there's also a beer bottle opener on the front. They really have thoughts of everything. Heat for the Blackstone is controlled by four big chunky dials for the different cooking zones which run in a line from front to back. And there's an ignition button on the front too. The cooking surface is slightly angled so excess oil and bits of food can collect in the drip tray at the back and you can buy foil liners for that too to help keep everything clean. Now because of that sloped surface it does mean that if you want to do pancakes us Brits are better off with thick American style ones rather than crepes because a thinner batter will tend to run across the surface towards the back whereas the American ones stay put. We've tried a lot of different foods on the Blackstone over the last few weeks, but cooked English breakfast at the weekend is still our favourite. There's lots of space for sausages, bacon, black pudding, eggs and your favourite vegetables. And as a result, we have had a more varied fry up. You could buy special egg rings if you want to make your eggs perfectly circular. And in fact, the Blackstone do a huge range of accessories, which also includes a Christmas tree decoration. We're so going to get one of those. 
If you're worried about cleaning this thing, then it is super easy. You just use water, a metal scraper, and some kitchen paper. In a way, the griddle is just like a pizza stone, so it will change color the more that you use it, and that's all part of the seasoning process and the badge of honor that you've been using it for a long time. So the one thing you don't want to do is use chemicals or cleaners which might strip the goodness out of the cooking surface. So what are the pros and cons of this Blackstone griddle? Starting off with the positives, well, you probably guessed this already, but they are brilliant for parties. Lots of room to stand around it, lots of serving space on the shelves at the side. And with the beer bottle opener on the Blackstone, if you are the chef, you are never going to be short of company at a party. We're actually doing a pancake breakfast party this month for Canada Day, and it wouldn't be possible to cook a big quantity of pancakes in one go without a griddle like this. Secondly, these griddles are really simple to use, and I think the results are much more reliable and consistent than when you cook on a barbecue, which is why everyone in our family has loved cooking on it. I mentioned it before, but Blackstone is really well supported with social media content. They have the official YouTube channel with daily videos, but there's also tons of recipes and ideas and a really great online community out there. You will never be short of answers or inspirations for what to cook. In fact, there's a real danger that you might get completely sucked into the cult of Blackstone. Here's the stuff that's not so good. There's no avoiding it. This being an American product, we Brits are paying a higher retail price for it. But then that isn't entirely surprising. It's worth mentioning that the barbecue purists are not big fans of these. You don't get grill marks on your steak and charcoal flavour on your burgers, and it's powered by gas. But I'm guessing that if you cared what the barbecue purists thought, then you probably wouldn't be watching this video. Thirdly, this is a big metal cooker. We live in a damp country, and I have seen comments online about the appearance deteriorating over time which has happened, to be honest, with most of the barbecues that we've owned, even if they've had a cover. Now, I haven't had this long enough to know how it will weather yet, but if there's anything significant to report, I will post an update. And if you have owned one for longer than me and you have any comments, then please do drop them below. I've also mentioned my son loves cooking on this and it's worth saying that if you have a tween like me or even a careless other half, you do have to be careful that they don't burn themselves on the surface. It's very easy to be fiddling with tools and pressing down too close to the surface and then make contact with your hand. They even have a printed warning about it on the front of the griddle. And one final thing, I did mention that they have a big strong handle on the side and wheels and brakes, etc. But they are a little bit like manoeuvring a shopping trolley. They're not the easiest things to push around. So there you go. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to see more videos about UK home appliances, both indoor and outdoor, I publish weekly. And if you hit subscribe and the notifications button, you will be the first to know when they go live.